Hello, and welcome to homework 8.06. This is all about factoring trinomials. So, number one, if the binomial x minus 3 is one factor of x squared minus 10x plus 21, which of the following is the other factor? All right, so sometimes kids get thrown off by this because it's just a multiple choice, but you can do this the same way we did all of the other ones. They're just being nice, and they're giving you one of the two numbers. So in this case, we're still looking for numbers that multiply to 21, because we're always multiplying to the back number that doesn't have the x, and add to negative 10. Now, in this case, they already gave us one of the numbers. One of the numbers is negative 3. So you basically have to ask yourself, negative 3 times what equals positive 21, and negative 3 plus what equals negative 10, and then you can go through your options. Let's see, positive 7. Nope, positive 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. I need a positive 21. Uh, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. That's not going to work. Negative 3 times negative 18 is positive 54. That's not going to work. Negative 3 times negative 7. Yep, that would be positive 23. I mean 21. Negative 3 plus negative 7. That would be negative 10. So negative 7 is the, wor the, the number that works for both of those, so that would be our choice here, x minus 7. Okay? Let's take a look at what we have here. So really, all of the problems on this sheet are the same. It's just practice, practice, practice so that you get used to them. Um, so on number 2, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to a positive 6 and add to a positive 5. Again, we multiply to the number that doesn't have the x. We add to the number that does have the x. So, you know, a technique that you can use on these is if you're not sure what numbers multiply to 6, you go to your calculator, you go to your y equals menu, then you type in 6 divided by x, you go to second graph, and then every pair of numbers that you see here will multiply to 6. So 1 times 6, 2 times 3, 3 times 2, 4 times 1.5, so on and so forth. All of those pairs multiply to 6. We're looking for the ones that add to positive 5, and here we go, 2 and 3, or 3 and 2. The order doesn't actually matter, so that is, those two are, are basically the same. So this would be x plus 3, x plus 2. All right. So if we take a look at this next one here. All right. m squared plus 11m plus 18. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to 18, which means they have to add to 11. All right, so again, if you can do it in your head, that's totally fine. If you need the calculator to help, also cool. Just go to your y equals, 18 divided by x, second graph, and then you just go through and say, all right, 1 and 18. Nope, doesn't add to 11. 2 and 9. Yep, those add to 11, so those must be my answers. M plus 2 in one of my parentheses, and m plus 9 in the other parentheses. Okay. Moving to number 4 here. Again, we multiply to the back number, which is 20. We add to the middle number that has the variable, which is 9. So we go to our y equals. We type in 20 divided by x. We scroll through until we find the ones that add to 9. 1 and 20, nope. 2 and 10, nope. That one's got a decimal, so nope. 4 and 5, yeah, 4 and 5 add to 9. So this is going to be our plus 4, our 
plus 5. Okay. If we look at number 5, you're going to notice number 5 is just a little bit different than the other ones that we've done so far. And the reason is, is we're still multiplying to a positive number. We're multiplying to 12, but we are adding to a negative 7. All right, so this one's going to be a little different than all the other ones because we're not adding to a positive number, we're adding to a negative number. So when I put it into my calculator here, I'm still putting in 12 divided by x, but instead of using these positive numbers, I'm going to use these negative numbers because I have to add to negative 7. So negative 1 and negative 12, nope. Negative 2 and negative 6, nope. Negative 3 and negative 4, yep, those add to negative 7. So when I write this, it's going to be x minus 3 times x minus 4. And the reason this works is a negative times a negative is a positive, but a negative plus a negative is still negative. All right, on this next one here, again, we're multiplying to a positive 6. We're adding to a positive 7. So again, if you need the calculator, just don't, don't hesitate to use it and say, all right, um, I'm going to be on the positive side because I have to add to a positive number. And look at that, 1 and 6, the very first choice. So x plus 1, x plus 6. All right. On the next one, t squared plus 12t plus 36. So I'm just going to go and type 36 divided by x. It's a positive 12, so I'm going to be on the positive side. 1 and 36, nope. 2 and 18, nope. 3 and 12, nope. 4 and 9, no, it's getting closer, but nope. 6 and 6, yep, 6 and 6 adds to 12, so this is going to be t plus 6. Let's make that t look a little different than my plus sign. And t plus 6, okay? All right, flipping over to the back. You're going to see it's just more of the same. And that's really all of this homework is, is just practicing these and getting comfortable with the process. So we're multiplying to 28. We're adding to 11. So we go to our calculator. We type in 28 divided by x. And then we go through 1 and 28, 2 and 14, 4 and 7. Yep, 4 plus 7 is 11. So this is p plus 4, p plus 7. Okay, on number 9, we have another one of these negative ones. So we're multiplying to a positive 18, but we're adding to a negative 9. All right, so that means both of our numbers are going to be negative because, again, a negative times a negative is a positive, but a negative plus a negative is still negative. So 18 divided by x. I'm going to go up here to the negative side and look for the ones that add to 9. And there we go, negative 3 plus negative 6. So this is v minus 3, v minus 6. Okay. 10 is another negative one, so again, we're going to be on the negative side, and this time we're multiplying to 30 and adding to negative 11. So 30 divided by x. Negative 11, let's see, nope, nope, nope. All right, negative 5 plus negative 6, yep, that's negative 11. So this is b minus 5. B minus 6. All right. If we go to 11 here, we're still multiplying to 30, so we're not even going to have to change what's in our calculator. But this time we're adding to negative 13. So if I just go right back to my list here, let's see, 5 and 6 we know add to 11. Negative 3 and negative 10? Yep, that'll be a negative 13. So this is y minus 3 y minus 10. Okay. Last two here. All right, we're back to the positives. So this time we're multiplying to a positive 36 and adding to a positive 15. 
So let's type in 36 divided by x. All right, we're going to move back over to the positive side. 2 and 18, nope, 3 and 12. Yep, 3 and 12 will add to 15, so x plus 3, x plus 12. And then last but not least, number 13 here. So we're trying to multiply to 40. Again, that's the one without the letter next to it. And we're adding to 13. So we go to y equals 40 divided by x. We're going to be on the positive side. 1 and 40, nope. 2 and 20, nope. 4 and 10, nope. 5 and 8, yep. 5 and 8 will add to 13. So this is n plus 5 and plus 8. All right, and that wraps up this homework. I hope this was helpful, and have a good day.